Saipan, an island of the Marianas, is one of many islands strewn like emeralds across the Pacific. Its tropical weather and beautiful scenery brings people from all over the world to come and admire its beauty and splendor. One of the beautiful and often visited beaches in Saipan is Ogden Beach. You'll find it on the southern coast between Ladder Beach and Naftan Point. Here you'll find crystal clear waters and white sand beaches frequented by tourists and locals alike. The clear waters are a favorite for swimmers and snorkelers. Abundant sea life and coral floors invite divers to view the ocean's treasures. Around the spring season, you might find turtle hatchlings heading to the shore. The beach is also a turtle nest conservation area. On the beach, you'll encounter remnants of Saipan's history. The Ubzan area was part of the sugar plantation during the Japanese colonization. A railroad track used to run along the beach during that time. The Japanese also built a large concrete bunker as protection from American forces during World War II. This is the bunker. <laughs> West of the beach, you'll notice this concrete foundation that was part of a galley of a housing unit that lodged American military during and after World War II. What may be the most significant site at Obzan Beach are the Laddie Stones, which are listed in the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. Here we have the Haligi that once stood during the ancient Chamorro times. And this is what the Chamorros called the Tasa that once sat on top of this Haligi. There is great significance in the Laddie Stones scattered across our island. The word itself means a stone carving that you pay respect to. Dating back to approximately 4 to 700 AD, Laddie stones are the only remaining evidence of Chamorro prehistoric architecture. Laddies are thought to have been the foundation structure of ancient Chamorro homes. Raising the houses off the ground would have increased ventilation as well as protected them from absorbing moisture from the soil. Some believe that they were used as ceremonial monuments associated with the burial of someone important. Constructed primarily of limestone, the pillars, or halagi, are separate from the cap, or tasa. They vary in height from one foot high to over ten feet high. It is believed that basalt and tridacna clamshell tools, along with fire and sand, were used to dig out laddie stones from solid rock. In some cases, some of these stones may have been moved several miles from the quarry in which they were originally dug. There are many unanswered questions about these fascinating man-made structures. Some of these mysterious monuments lie hidden in the jungles near our coastlines. So when you have a moment, please take the time to stop and see the laddie stones of Saipan. Hi, welcome to Upsan Beach. Today we'll be interviewing some people from HPO, volunteers from Beautify Cinema, and some students from NMC. Let's go. Uh, they're the supports for uh, old Chamorro um, structures, I guess. That's what I've been told. Lottie stones? Yeah. <laughs> I believe they um, are stones that were used by the ancient <laughs> islanders to build yeah. houses. Lattice stones. Lattice stones are the homes of my ancestors, the Chamorro heritage. They're uh, a very, it's I think one of the one of the wonders of the world. Anybody who has been here in the Commonwealth will will not forget what a lattice stone is. And usually these are the uh, stones that are shaped this like this. And <laughs> and usually it's what the Chamorro people use as uh, symbols. Uh, our ancestors uh, actually built their houses on those uh, stones. And they're very historic. And they're very um, important links to our past. So that's why um, a, lot of, a lot of our people use that to express to the world who we are. Okay, so what do you think they were used for? 
Um, they were used by the Tremoros to build their houses. They were the foundation of the house. Uh, to be the foundation for the housing. So are not only just used for homes, they are also used for uh, canoe houses. They store the canoes and also social places for like a meeting. And why do you think that we should be uh, preserving sites like these? Uh, because this is the only place in the world where they occur. Um, it's a part of our island's history, it's a part of our island's culture, and uh, no one else takes care of them. But if we don't take care of them, no one's going to do it for us. Uh, especially lattice stones. Uh, we have so little information about our ancestors, the ancient Chamorro. And uh, preserving sites like this, it's not only just for the beauty, but it's somewhere inside, you know, knowing your heritage and then at least preserving it is like giving it back to them because like our ancestors, they knew we were coming, the generations were coming, so I'm pretty sure they did the same thing, what they had that was good, they did not destroy, they preserved, in fact, they tried to expand for the future generations. Um. I believe because history plays such a big part of everyone's lives, especially people that live here, and it's very important to preserve that uh, for future generations, to know that where they came from and how you know, it affects or influences. You know. um, I don't think it matters what culture you are, just uh, historic preservation is, is good no matter where you're at, and it just helps, helps keep up future generations with knowing where they came from. And, how they progressed over time. The summer 2007 history of the Northern Mariana Islands class may be small in number, but our hearts for our islands is greater than the Pacific Ocean. After learning about the rich heritage of our islands and meeting with wonderful people that have been a part of our islands' fascinating history, our class wanted to raise awareness of the importance in preserving not just the present, but also the history of our islands. We believe that protecting the past and present will not only benefit our tourism industry, but the future generation will be able to appreciate our islands more. Through our Obzan Ladi Side Community Awareness Project, we hope that every one of us living in our beautiful islands will be aware of the important historical artifacts that are scattered around the islands, even in your own backyard. Most of the Ladi Stone sites are not well known to the public, as a lot of them are covered in the jungles, and the significance of these sites have been ignored and neglected for too long. Now is the time that we, as a community in whole, should pick up our bush cutters and trash bags to help clean up and protect the significant historical sites. And together, we'll protect the island's history.